Hey, I'm gonna show you the best turret spots on Eichenwald. As a tour one trick, I spent hours looking at YouTube tutorials, going to custom games, going to school, studying geometry, getting the right angles, and field testing them in competitive math. First thing we must do is lay down some ground rules. Hey. The reason these turret spots are good is because they set up good crossfires that can guarantee good damage. If it can get killed easily without the enemy team using resources, then it will not be considered. Lastly, keep in mind that we must be able to put down the turret in a reasonable amount of time and from a position that is close to our team. Therefore, I will be showing where the turret is and the spot you should be shooting from keeping in mind that Torp has advantage over most characters at mid to long range. With that out of the way, Eichenwald is a great defense map for Torp. Starting off on first point, we have a few decent options. This bush turret is a personal favorite of mine. It covers the archway and covers your back line, as well as any flyers that come in. Just do it! The enemy team usually has to use a bunch of resources just to push through the choke point. Then they have to use even more resources to take out your turret, all while your team is shooting at them. Well, duh. The next four turrets are aimed at protecting point when your team is pushed back. When the brawl happens on site, a well-placed turret can make a big difference. One I would highly recommend you learn is this godly spot in this corner. With a little hop, you can lodge it between the two small floors on this roof. Next up on second point, it can really be divided into two segments. One, when the enemy is pushing through lower, and two, when the enemy is trying to push across bridge. On the first segment, you'll mainly be wanting to hold the high ground. So all these turret spots you can set up from the high ground. On the tower sitting on the ledge, aim for this corner. It'll set up a turret right in the corner behind this bush. Wow. In the same spot, aim for anything in the middle of this wreckage. If you have any sort of flyers in the game like Echo or Farah, put the turret back here on this platform. This should only shoot at the flyers and should be tough to deal with. Moving on to second point, there are a couple more options on where you can put your turrets. The main goal being hitting one or two targets at a time while they push across the bridge. This is a sneaky one that will cover the left side of the bridge. This one will cover the right side of the bridge. And this one will cover the ram. An effective tactic is to come here to the corner, put your turret on the catwalk, and start lobbing Cheetos at the back line while they're trying to push across bridge. It's also a great spot to spawn camp anyone that's coming from their spawn. Moving on to point three, you have a lot more options on where you can put your turret. The main goal being the same is targeting one enemy at a time. This one will usually hit the supports or DPS, hiding behind the cart in the back. This one will usually hit the taller tank characters. This one's good for any flanking characters. And this one is good to protect point while you hold high ground. The best turret spot to hold point is over here on high ground. You want to aim for the corner of this pillar. Make sure you break the railing. This turret provides multiple angles for you to hold point with. On attack, we have to get a lot more creative. We're gonna have to put. <laughs> we have to put turrets and key points to defend key areas. This one in particular defends the high ground from DPS like McCree. If you don't know where to put your turret on attack, a good place to put it is always behind a wall to protect your back line. If you want to be aggressive, you can put a turret here while you try to burst out an enemy. Two other options: push out chokes to get on this table, get get on this, and aim for where these two roofs line up. Give it a little hop jump. And as it's deploying, you'll want to go to this corner and start shooting the enemy. Another option is to put a turret here and burst down anyone that tries to peek this corner with your turret. As you push onto point, you'll want to put a turret here to cut off half of point. It's also not a bad idea to put it in the corner of this building because it still reaches point. A great one that might require some practice is to put it up there on the high ground while point is being chaotic. Moving on to second point, you have two options. You can either go to low ground, put your turret under catwalk, and help your tank take out the other tank. And when you're pushing aggressively, you can put your turret here to help with enemies crossing the bridge. Oh, baby, a triple! 
or you can go on this right lane and start contesting high ground. This turret's good for getting any character on lower. As you get to the top of the stairs, you can sneak in a turret right here and get any retreating enemies. Or if you want high ground, you can put a turret in this corner to help your team push lower. A fantastic tricky one for when there's a chaotic fight at the capture point is a jump shot to this catwalk. Moving on to third point, there's this spot right here that can help protect the stairs and could be hard to shoot at from lower. As you're progressing through third point, you'll mainly want to be putting it behind these walls to protect from aggressors from getting close to your team. One that could be useful is putting it on the chandelier here. The turret will be able to shoot through it sometimes. Finally, when fighting for the last little bit to push cart to point, the best place to be is at the back of the room with your turret poking down enemies from range while your team brawls. Most of the time the enemies will be too focused on what's in front of them and not you and your turret shooting them in the back. Even though you now know the best turret spots, you may not know why they are great turret spots or how you can find these yourself. Check out this video to learn what makes a Torb turret godly and what you can do to find it yourself.